I'm just going to get started. <clears throat> I believe that I can prove Japan is the home of Star Forts, that the Emperor lives in Star Fort, and that the nation of Japan and their great people have been lied to like the rest of the world. We have star forts all over the world, even in the United States, as I've proven in other videos. They're in Europe. That's where you think of star forts. But what you're going to see from these pictures are undeniable Japan, the Emperor's Castle. These are plans that you can pause the video and look at. They have every, every feature of a star fort. The trees and everything are overgrown. I want you to look these up online using your favorite search engine. Do not look for a star fort when you're looking for Asian palaces because that's what they call them. Look at the size of that megalith built on the foundation of the Emperor's Palace. These are plans. You'll see more of these coming up because it's not only the Emperor's Palace. Once again, you, you stop, look for yourself. That's a star fort. Those trees are hiding it. It's so obvious. And that's their map of it. And they're hiding it. No, I don't know if that is. I don't know if that star fort is from Japan. That is a, that's a ditch that runs through it. It's like the canals. The same engineering that built the canals built the star forts and the Asian palaces. There you go. That's another view of, uh, that's just, that is just proof. Now, back to that, that's a star fort. Not as big as one is in Europe, but it's in Pittsburgh. Star forts are in Japan and they are in North America, especially Canada and New York, but everywhere. So they're lying to us world about star forts, palaces, and they're doing everything they can to cover them up. I could make a whole video just showing how they try to hide it, you know, uh, what they're doing it. I have a, a video that's going to come out about the site in Thailand that they say is over 2,000 years old. And the only reason there's pictures of it, okay, this one here, look at the reflection in the glass. Look at the megalithic stone. Did you see what they were trying to show, you know, oh, we're the proud Japanese people. We had this wood and it's always good too. And it's good too, but that is not the original work. I, I, uh, I admire the people of Japan. I think that they need to know these truths. They need to find out. They need to help me figure out why. Why didn't they tell us in the United States that we had star fort palaces that were supposed to have been built, you know, only in the time of hundreds of years before the colonies in America were settled by enough people to even dream about building one fort, much less the 60 that I have found. And Japan, a nation that its history is built upon, it had to break away from the samurai so late that, you know, we knew some people from Japan and they were so great. We had to have their market. We had to open up their markets and we went there and threatened them and said, you open up your markets like the rest of the world and let us come in and destroy most of your star forts and we'll keep your puppet emperor in there. But dude, it's over. It has to be something like that. It had to be something like that. Maybe not as easy as that, but we